what is up guys more here or Zach hope everyone is having a fantastic day now before I get started on this destiny weekly reset I just want to say thank you for all your support on my channel that you have been showing me it really does mean a lot and even if I can only help one person out that's still pretty awesome to me because I just enjoy making videos for you and getting better and better every day as I'm making videos also, when you do comment on my videos, I actually do listen because I do enjoy getting advice from other people. So now without further ado, let's get started on this weekly reset. First on the list is going to be your weekly Nightfall Strike. So the modifiers are going to be as followed. Exposure, Guardian Shields are increased but do not replenish. Ironclad, more enemies have shields. Chafe, player's radar is disabled. Small arms, primary weapons damage is favored. Epic, heavily shielded, and highly aggressive enemies appear in great numbers. So what this means to me is that it's going to be a lot of small arms and there's no burns so it's going to be kind of difficult but as long as you have like a bubble or a tether you should be fine and you should get through it pretty quickly. Next on the list you're going to have your Mayhem Clash. It's going to be Embrace the Chaos. Greatly increased ability recharge rates, faster special and heavy ammo spawns. No respawn delay, scoring values multiplied by 10. So it is what it is. It's mayhem. You literally get your super almost every time you spawn in. Also for the Crucible, you're going to have your Inferno 3v3, a mix of Inferno Skirmish, Inferno Salvage, and Inferno Elimination. Next, you're going to have your Vanguard Heroic Strikes. Now for your Vanguard Heroic Strikes, you're going to have Heroic, Voidburn, Specialist, and Exposure. So get out your Telestos as well and other void burn special weapons and then you're gonna have your legendary engram as the rewards and your marks as well as that's a three weekly time bonus okay, next on the list is gonna be your challenge of elders you're gonna have berserk chafe and grenade kill bonus so for the grenade kill bonus make sure you have on the armatarium or anything that gives you the double grenades as well as to have your discipline turn the whole way up because then that means more grenades that means more points which is gonna get it done a hell of a lot faster Next is going to be the King's Fall Raid, and that is the Golgoroth Challenge. So, as followed, the first person is going to take it, and then as you're damaging him, he's going to let you know when you should take it. When you start getting low, like maybe 5 seconds, then you can take it. Then the third person will take it, the fourth person will take it, the fifth person will take it, and then the sixth person and the final person will take the gaze. At that point you've done the challenge mode right and as long as you rinse and repeat that steps and everybody gets the gaze you should be fine and you should get Golgara challenge done. If you have any trouble with it I will be gladly to show you if you do want a video on it or if you want help on it maybe I can help you as well. Last but not least is going to be your Court of Oryx which this week is going to be Kill Kogor. The way you want to kill Kogor is you got to take down the ogre first then you can do damage to the wizard. That's basically how you're going to do it. It's simple. You could probably solo it, but wouldn't recommend. It's probably easier with people. So that's going to do it for this weekly reset. Also, I hope you go check out my other videos on this channel. And as we all know, Rise of Iron is soon coming out. The days are dwindling down. Hopefully everyone is ready for the Rise of Iron, as is I am. So if you do like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more awesome content by yours truly. I'm going to start doing something new. At the end of every video, I'm going to ask a question and you leave it in the comments below your answer. So, what's your favorite subclass, Guardians?